Hey, what's up everyone? My name's Chris Winter, and in this video, I'm gonna go through some of the best cheap DSLR lenses so you can figure out which one will be best for you. By the way, guys, I'm giving away a $25 Amazon gift card once this video hits 1,000 likes. So if you wanna enter, all you need to do is subscribe to this channel and follow me on my Instagram page, which is linked down below under this video. And if you guys haven't seen it yet, definitely make sure to check out my brand new list, the top 10 best cheap DSLR lenses. Now that link will be in the description box below and you can take a look. But anyway, let's take a look at some of these DSLR lenses. So today's question asks, hey Chris, I just bought my very first DSLR and I'm looking to increase my lens collection, but I'm on a bit of a budget. Do you have any suggestions? Well, first off, congratulations on getting your first DSLR. I remember when I got my first DSLR, I pretty much used it all the time. It was fantastic, a lot to learn, but it's a lot of fun. Now in terms of cheap DSLR lenses, there are a lot of lenses under $300. So you're in luck there's plenty to choose from. The first lens that I'd recommend if you don't already have it is the 18 to 55 millimeter lens. Now both Canon and Nikon offer these lenses and they're normally called a kit lens. Now they don't generally have the best image quality but one thing that they do have going for them is that they do have a pretty wide range. So you can go wide at 18 millimeters and all the way zoomed in to 55 millimeters so you can figure out which is gonna be the best focal length for you in case you wanna get a prime lens later on. Next up, one of the most popular lenses you can get is the 50 millimeter f1.8 or more commonly known as the Nifty 50 or Plastic Fantastic. Now these come in at around about $120 and will really allow you to get that really shallow depth of field or bokeh, which is great for portraits. By the way guys, if you wanna check out any of the gear that I talk about in today's video, I've got it all linked in the description box below under this video so you can take a look. Now one lens that you might not have heard of, but one that I really do like is this lens right here. This is the Yongnuo 35mm f2. This one comes in at under $200 and still has a very fast aperture of f2, which means you'll still be able to get that lovely bokeh. Now coming in at 35 millimeters compared to 50 millimeters means it's gonna be a little bit wider. It also means it might be better for indoor shots. The last lens is a great all around lens and one that I'd highly recommend. It's for Canon and it's the 18 to 135 millimeter STM lens. Now it's a little bit more expensive coming in at around about 300 to $400, but to me it's worth it. It's kind of a do-it-all lens because you can get really wide shots at 18 millimeters and telephoto shots at 135. Not only that's got fast autofocus as well, so it works great for video. So that were just some of the best cheap lenses for DSLR. Now, if you haven't done it yet, definitely make sure to go and follow me on Instagram to go into the draw to win a $25 Amazon gift card. And also definitely make sure to check out my brand new list, the top 10 best cheap DSLR lenses. That link will be in the description box below under this video. You can take a look. Hope you have a fantastic day and I'll see you next time. Bye.